Times Hero Miniseries, Episode 18. The title of this episode is Practice, Yes. But how do I practice? This morning, as I planned out the day, I included time for my bongo practice session. I added a calendar entry on my iPhone. <clears throat> for the bongo practice session with a location of home studio. As I pointed out in episode 17, I used mobile devices to support my bongo practice sessions. For example, I'm using my mobile device iPhone to create a calendar item called Bongo Cero with a location of home studio. And in the notes of that calendar entry, I put, type out my narrative for this video. My home studio is basically the place I go to to do my bongo practice sessions. The studio is in my living room. There I have placed all tools and equipment to practice. Note I have one place to practice. This is not done by accident. It is done intentionally. Bongo Cero Self-Assessment. Today's Bongo Cero Self-Assessment is focused on the way I practice as a Bongo Cero. There's only two questions. Do I use mobile devices for my Bongo practice sessions? Question two. Do I have one place to go to do all my bongo practice sessions? Your answers to the two questions may help you in problem solving ways to improve your practice sessions or to produce better practice results quicker. That of course is for you to determine. You are your own Bongo Cero. And that's the way it should be. The way I practice as a Bongo Cero. Allow me to clarify and reiterate that I have designed the way I do my private Bongo practice sessions. I do not require anyone's feedback on the methodology I have created for my unique Bongo Cero practice sessions. Indeed, I do not want any feedback on this aspect of my Bongo Cero practice. Next, talk and play scenario. Now I'm going to again practice the taps for the Calypso rhythm pattern with and without music and afterwards I will critique myself. And having done that, I will simply conclude this episode. Again, using my mobile device 
in my iPad, which is recording this video, I go on my mobile phone to my playlist and I find the song I want to practice. What I want to point out in my critique of this little practice scenario was, of course, I was going through all of the taps associated with the Calypso rhythm pattern. But I put an emphasis on practicing an issue I have where I need to improve this area. Now let me explain that. There are 
two cats, which are two, two tone cats involved. Both of those taps are done on the edge of the macho drum, the smaller drum. <coughs> Following those two toe taps are two touch taps toward the center of the drum, which are supposed to be softer and quieter than the toe taps that precede it. That's the correct way to do those four taps. Now, let's see this in the sequence of all taps associated for one articulation of the Calypso rhythm pattern. Now let me do two articulations of the pattern. In practice sessions, you repeat tapping. You repeat tapping for the entire rhythm pattern. And when you do your self-assessment on how you performed, how well you articulated that pattern through taps, you find areas where you're not tapping according to the beat, or you're not striking the drum properly, or you're not doing it with the correct number of taps for a given type of tap. There's all sorts of ways that you will end up improving your practice. Okay, that takes um, care of this particular episode, so I'm going to conclude this episode now. This is episode 18 of the Bongo Cero mini-series. Thanks for watching, good luck in your practice, until next time.